Now, regular listeners know the former president is uh, apparently still taping up in heaven. And uh, we're in receipt of the latest tape. Here's uh, today's media readout. References to you, as usual, circled in red. Damn it, Haldeman, this has got to stop. I only, uh, well, only had the two colors. I can leave it unhighlighted, but then... I don't care about the damn colors. Mm. I mean, of course I do. What the hell kind of heaven are they running here where they have only red and black sharpies? Well, uh, they tell me it's an environmental thing. Mm. I am so up to here with the more environmental than thou attitude up here. Do they know who started the EPA, for God's sake? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They do. Yeah. They also know why. But um, what is it I think you said has to stop? Something I can handle? We learned quite a while ago that you can't handle anything from here. Mm-hmm. It's just like that damn TV. Mm-hmm. You can watch it till you're blue in the face, but you can't do anything about what you're seeing. Sure, sure. Of course, up here we can see everything in... There aren't any commercials. So what's got to stop mm-hmm. is this constant equating my Watergate experience, such as it was, mm-hmm. with this Trump fellow. Well, I mean, everything you've circled here is this, this is like Watergate, mm-hmm. but Watergate was this, and this is that, sure. and so forth. Sure. And they sure. trot out John Dean. Sure. Well, he, he's one of the few of us who's still not dead. Sure. But uh, Buchanan's not dead. Mm-hmm. He's right. writing columns. Yeah. As if anybody reads columns. <laughs> we can't get him on the tube. I could, I can check on that. Um, well, what, what would we want him to say exactly? Assuming, well, I mean, look at my daughters. Mm-hmm. You see, I mean, they married people and so forth and so yeah, on. But sure. I mean, this, yeah. this, guy, this guy Trump has has got himself and his so-called kids involved in business stuff so sleazy it would have embarrassed BB Rebozo. Yeah. You know, he, no, that's not to say that uh, BB every once in a while didn't get involved with some Middle Eastern gentlemen. Of course, with the, of course. Let's just say uh, an amazing number of bank accounts no, for the laundering. For whatever. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But what I did, and you know this as well as the next man. Which was Orlikman. What I did was not for personal gain. No. I mean, it told the book deals. No, of course you didn't. Mrs. Nixon and I ate at home most nights. Mm-hmm. I mean, those San Clemente restaurants, some of them were absolute club joints. Well, the steak place. Oh, come on, Alderman. For the price they charged for a porterhouse, you could have bought the whole steer. Mm-hmm. Sure. Yep. Yeah. But... The, the potatoes? No, I didn't run off like a frat boy on Tijuana Red with every Central European model I happened to come across in the car seat. Well, they certainly had opportunity. <laughs> Meeting all the leaders of the world in order to try to build a, an enduring structure of peace. Which, but, you know, the whole Watergate nonsense stopped. But uh, there was no time for that kind of fluff. That's the point I'm making. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But, you know, you and Mrs. Nixon were... Oh, of course. I'm just saying you didn't see me lusting after all these sweet patooties like this fellow, which, of course, is his right. Of course. Yep. He's, he's free white and over 21. Yep. Yeah. 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 Yeah, but now, see, hmm? they're living in a world down there where you can't even say that anymore. <laughs> I mean, there are a lot of bad things about not being live. Yep. yep. But that isn't one of them. Mm-hmm. Yep. As far as presidential lawyers are concerned, mm-hmm. you can say a lot of things about John Mitchell. Well, fortunately, he's on a whole other cloud. But he had a real job, mm-hmm. attorney general. He yep. wasn't just my pro bono lawyer flunky like this this Rudy guy. No, no he was a real official. Yep. Absolutely right. Yep. Yep. And, and let me tell you this, Holden. Mm-hmm. You never, ever saw me getting involved with the New York Italians. That's I mean, right. this Trump fellow, I guess he just spent too much time in Queens. But any New Yorker whose name ends in a consonant should know better. Well, uh, Giuliani did have the halo effect from ground zero. Oh, that stuff just fades with time. Mm. Nobody knows that better than me. Sure. By the time Watergate rolled around. Anybody still care about me out-debating Khrushchev in that phony kitchen? Well, of course, the media never mentioned it. That's the other thing, Mm. you see. The media. (laughs) Sure. This guy pretends to be so tough on the media and so forth. Mm -hmm. Yep. The one time he takes away somebody's press pass, then he backs down. Didn't a court decide? Which I don't suppose I need to point out. Mm-hmm. That's why I put the FBI on their damn tail. Sure. Yeah? Yeah. Scare the crap out of them. Right. It's not a big public thing. No. So the other side can't mobilize their hippies and bra burners to put pressure on you. Don't think they're burning bras anymore. Well, whatever they're burning. Flags or so far. Mm-hmm. That's the thing, Holman. Right. They're always burning something. You know, just sc- scanning the clips, the most references are about uh, one of your articles of impeachment being about obstructing Congress, and that's what First of all, 
They weren't my articles. No. And most importantly, it never came to vote in the House. Of course, because you... So, there were articles. Yes. But there was no impeachment. Right. And if the members of my own party had had just one hundredth of the backbone these Republicans seem to have now... Well, <laughs> he really does seem to have them pretty scared. Well, see, that's what you want. Hmm. If they love you, they can always just fall out of love. But they never stop being afraid of you. See, it's primal. Yep. Yeah. I mean, hell, Johnson knew that. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. And of course, uh, this guy has the advantage of not uh, having a double-crossing little weasel like John D. Testifying against him on TV. Well, not yet. I mean, it took a while. And he doesn't have somebody gunning for him like Senator Sam Irvin with his obvious political agenda. Well, he was a Democrat. Saying to his northern Democrat friends, Oh, as long as I keep this vendetta yeah. against Nixon going, you won't give a damn if I hate black people. Mm -hmm. Which, of course, was his right back then, I suppose. Well, do you want me to stop uh, flagging the Trump impeachment clip? Simon it, Haldeman, of course not. Hmm. I just want you to get Pat Buchanan back on TV. I can probably get him back on your TV, but... All right. I understand. I mean... You know, it's a... At least just circle them and blow.